wanted to fill you in on what's going on with the RV. I promised you that when I had updates, I would do it here, uh, and that's what I am doing. Hey everybody, David, AKA RV Jedi, and I have an update on what is going on with my RV. Right now I'm car camping out at Penrose Point State Park, uh, and this is just outside of Seattle, uh, and having a really good time. But I wanted to fill you in on what's going on with the RV. I promised you that when I had updates, I would do it here, uh, and that's what I am doing. Uh, let's get you caught up if you're not familiar with what happened. So back at the end of 2021, I was living in Green Bay, got a job in Seattle, uh, took it, uh, came out here, but without my RV, left it in storage. Once it got a little bit warmer, I went back out to try to pick it up and bring it back across country. And as I was doing it, I had engine problems. I left it there with a truck mechanic for a while, uh, flew back, had to go back to work and deal with that, uh, and then got the news that first it was going to be a fuel pump and then secondly, as they did more inspection, it looked like the whole engine was going to have to be replaced. So um, I went back and uh, picked up some stuff out of the RV and brought it back here, uh, put the RV in storage and uh, tried to figure out what was gonna happen next. And that is where I am right now. So, um, a, a lot of you gave me a lot of suggestions as to what I should do. Now, the first estimate I got in terms of replacing the engine was close to 20 grand. Uh, after talking with them a little bit, they said maybe they could get it down to 17 grand. But, you know, as I mentioned on the channel here um, in, in a couple of videos, that still seemed like a lot. And a lot of you said that seemed a lot. There were a couple who said that, you know, that sounds about right. Uh, but for the most part, everyone was like, get second, get a third opinion, do whatever you can. And that's what I did. But I had to do it again from afar. So I took the um, detailed information um, that they gave me for the estimation of fixing the RV, the one location that I had it, and I shopped it around to a couple of places. Uh, a couple of places said, yeah, that's about right. Um, and then a couple of places said, well, maybe, uh, maybe we could get it a little bit lower. They were down to maybe 15 or 13 uh, thousand to do it. One of the things that was interesting is, and somebody had suggested here, is maybe I look into either a used engine or a crate engine, uh, crate being a new one and uh, you know obviously a used one. And I was able to find a, a crate engine somewhere around 4,100, and then uh, a used engine somewhere around that 32 uh, to 3,500. So even though I was able to find a used engine, uh, shops did not want to put that in. They didn't want to be liable for putting in a uh, used engine. And it was hard to maybe try to find a local shop that could do it. And I didn't know whether or not I should really trust that. And in both cases, uh, it could take anywhere from 10 to 12 weeks uh, to get the engine to wherever I needed it to go so that they could fix it. So there's the wait time that adds into that. Now. Uh, if I didn't want to uh, do that and I wanted to try to maybe tow the RV to Minneapolis or a bigger city to, to get uh, somebody to look at it, we're looking between three and five hundred dollars uh, to get it to a Minneapolis shop. Again, it is being stored right now in Chippewa Falls uh, and uh, the engine places and the um, truck places I called were all around that area. So the final totals that I was looking at, $300 for a tow, four grand for an engine, uh, about six to seven, but we'll call it six for labor. Uh, that brings it out to about $10,300. I still owe $17,300 on it. So all in all, you're looking at about $27,600 to get that RV paid off fixed and up to snuff. I got to be honest with you folks. I love the RV. It was fun and I did so much with it, but I just don't see the financial numbers adding up 
to go ahead and do this. To fix it, you're looking about 10,300, 10,500, probably 11,000 when it's all said and done. Uh, and then I still have to pay down the and pay off the RV, which is 17,000. And again, those numbers just don't add up for me. So unfortunately, uh, I'm making a very tough decision. Uh, I'm going to keep the RV in storage. I'm going to try to pay off the RV as quickly as I can. Uh, and then I'm going to sell the RV uh, either for scrap or for somebody who may want to put an engine in themselves. Uh, I just don't see the benefit for me to do it. Now, I put a lot into it. It has a new roof. I love it. Um, but at this point, I just don't see the numbers working. If you know somebody who wants to, to buy it and make it a project, hit me uh, in a comment below and, and maybe we can do something. But right now, uh, the plan is just to leave it there, pay it off as quickly as possible, and then move on to another part of my RVing life. Now, what will that RVing life look like? I don't know. Uh, you know, I've looked at everything from a scamp to a MyPod to a Class C to a Class B. Uh, and obviously I'm car camping right now. So uh, I'm going to continue to car camp for a while uh, and then I'll make a decision down the line about whether or not I get back into traditional RVing uh, with either, uh, you know, a, a travel trailer, class B, class C, something like that. I don't know that I'll go back to a class A. Uh, I did love the size, but I really like being able to be a little bit more nimble. So one of those smaller classes of RVs, travel trailers, is probably the route that I'm gonna go in the near future. This is a tough video for me to share with you guys. I promise though, I would share with you anytime there was a major update, and this is a big one. Um, my uh, Death Star uh, is no longer going to be um, functioning for me. Uh, maybe I'll pass it on to somebody else, uh, but for now, uh, I'm closing the chapter on this. Tough decision but thank you all for all of your advice and information that you gave me. Hey, that's gonna do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then of course you can follow me on the blog at rvjedi.com. Get out there, RV, even if you have some problems, uh, maybe you can get through them, but being out in the open, being out and exploring is something that you'll never, never forget. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.